I'm Patrick O'Connor, I'm head of the local energy program in Bayes. Um, we work closely with Rob on prospering from the energy revolution as co-sponsors of that. Um, and we also have uh, five regional hubs across England uh, providing project development support to local authorities. Um, and in the last two years, they've already um, enabled over 60 million pounds of investment into uh, local projects. So that's, that's the sort of work that we're doing. Um, but I wanted to focus today uh, on the announcements in June uh, that we had as part of the Chancellor's Plans for Job, um, which committed uh, to supporting the UK's economic recovery uh, through a £3 billion plus investment in energy efficiency and buildings. And I just wanted to uh, flag uh, some of those uh, key points. So the main scheme there is the 1.5 billion uh, Green Homes Grant voucher scheme um, with the aim to raise performance uh, of low EPC homes through consumer-led voucher schemes. So uh, individual homeowners making the choice, um, whether they're a private landlord, social landlord or a homeowner, uh, to invest in the building and they can claim back up to £5,000, uh, the equivalent of two thirds of the total cost, up to the two thirds of the total cost um, for works going on uh, to um, improve the EPC ratings of their homes. Alongside that, and probably more relevant to local authorities here is the uh, half billion pound Green Homes Grant Local Authority Delivery Program or LAD. Um, for short. Uh, again, targeting um, low EPC homes, but through locally led fo uh, focusing on lower income homes. So more on the fuel poverty side, but not quite as uh, tightly uh, constrained um, as, as previous schemes. Um, I believe, um, touch wood, because I haven't had it confirmed this morning, that uh, 1B is, has been launched today which is a second round of bidding. Um, a few changes in that. So the previous, the first round uh, was for EPC ratings E and below. Um, this one will be for D and below. And the work will need to be carried out by September 21. So again, we've got a longer lead in um, right, through the, right through the summer to do the delivery. Um, same term, so up to £5,000 or two-third cost um, of the project, um, up to 10,000 for low income homes um, as well. But that is there and that is there for local authorities to bid into. And we saw um, about uh, 56 bids into the first round, some 100 local authorities have bid, um, but that there is 500 uh, million pounds in that scheme. Um, and it will really help make the case to to continue this sort of funding if we are getting that sort of scale of um, appetite from local authorities. So I'd recommend um, that you go and have a look at that um, and see uh, how you can get involved. You can bid as a local authority or as many did in the, in the previous round as a consortium of local authorities with one lead authority. Um, so, so do uh, get involved um, and the regional hubs can help you uh, find partnerships and find out more details about that. So if you uh, have a look on gov.uk, don't understand anything, uh, have some questions, then please get in touch. The third strand of it was a 50 million pound social housing decarbonisation fund. Um, again, uh, looking at low EPC rated uh, social housing, but dem demonstrating innovative whole house approaches. Um, so again, it was great to hear about the stuff so, uh, Shirley was talking about, the 55 homes, uh, social housing homes there. And these are exactly the sorts of innovative approaches that we're looking for. That is that is there um, to be spent. Uh, and we are, we are looking for uh, bids and partners on that. Um, we also have um, uh, the public sector decarbonisation Program, which will provide grants to help public sector organisations in England, including local authorities, to install energy efficiency and low carbon heating measures, reducing energy bills, carbon emissions um, across their estates. 
So this is for your own buildings and your own building stock. Uh, installations under the uh, grant are expected to support around 30,000 low-car jobs. So going back to Rob's point about uh, and Shirley's points about the economic recovery, we're looking at that as, as part of that package. The deadline for that, for submissions for that, is the 11th of uh, January. That's the last round, but there are there are rolling rounds of, of competition. So again, gov.uk will show you the show you um, where that is. And there is alongside that, there is a low carbon skills fund um, that you can bid for to actually help increase your capacity um, to develop and deliver these projects. So we recognize that with uh, car carbon emissions, with um, energy not being a statutory issue, many local authorities don't have capacity in house to develop these bids, uh, to uh, develop these projects. And so there is some funding there now to support that um, within uh, within your areas. And um, both of those are being led by Salix Finance, which you will, I'm sure, have come across that were running the loan scheme previously. Um, I then just wanted to uh, mention that the RHI is still operating both domestically and non-domestically. Uh, so if you're doing heat only projects, there is still an opportunity uh, to to get into that. And the domestic RHI, which was scheduled to close on the 31st of March 2021, has been extended for another year. So closes to new applications 31st of March 22. So that's another opportunity to start to move people into um, heat pumps, uh, in particularly, although biomass and solar thermal are still covered. Um, and we also have uh, the funding for heat networks for local authorities. So the heat networks investment project um, is a 320 million pound capital funding program. Uh, round eight of 11 uh, closes this December. So again, if you've got heat network projects designed and you're looking for capital support for them, uh, please make sure that you get in touch. If you don't have projects for capital, the network delivery unit have round 10 of their development funding available also until December 2020. And that will pay, that will pay for the feasibility studies uh, that you can then take into um, further rounds of the investment project. Um, we have also just done um, a, a green heat network uh, call for evidence. Um, which is about how we fund the capital um, investment going forward from 22 to 25. Look out for that uh, for the consultation that will follow shortly. So having done the call for evidence, we'll move on to a consultation. So I think those are the really big things because that's money that is there today that any of you can use. It's there to help you do the feasibility studies into these projects. It's help you to develop them into commercially investable projects and as there is capital there also to help you to um, fund those or co-fund those or blend the finance in those. Um, and I'm really pleased to say that um, uh, we've got the speakers line up today is so great because I was going to talk about the innovation in local funding and mention the EIZs that Cheryl's leading on, the work that Bruce, who's going to follow me, is doing on community municipal comms. But all of this shows the need for um, local area energy planning so that we are putting things in the right places based on not just the energy system, but also the building stock, also the, the, the journeys to work and journeys, leisure journeys and journeys to school and understanding how all of that works together, um, which is what we are hoping and um, working towards with local area energy plans to underpin all of this investment that we are seeing. 